everybody, it is the one and only Fat Jesus here, and I got a gameplay commentary for you guys today. And the gameplay is NFL Blitz, which basically, if any of you guys have played Madden before, it is Madden in an arcade type of style, and it's really fun if you just want to relax and play football and not, like, get stressed over it and just, like, have... You'll see the gameplay. And, you know, look at these hot chicks, man, popping up until, you know... <laughs> but... I want. I was said I was gonna bring like PC gameplay and everything like that, but my PC it it keeps crashing every time I play like newer games. Like if I play Left 4 Dead, it still crashes. Or if I like if I'm just playing video games on my PC, it doesn't like it. You know, my PC is like get that, sh get it out of here, get it out of here. It doesn't like it. So I'm not sure if I can. Minecraft doesn't crash, so maybe I can make Minecraft videos or. I don't know, because Portal 2 videos crash, my Left 4 Dead 2 crashes, Left 4 Dead 1 crashes. Well, it doesn't crash, that's the newer games. Left 4 Dead 2 and Portal 2 are mostly the ones that crash. Minecraft doesn't crash, or Left 4 Dead. Things with like 180p, or I mean, good graphics and, and a bigger screen, they usually crash. And it really messed up my laptop. Like It crashed about 10 times, and about now... I finally fixed it. I had a re I had a bit of restore disk inside of it, and I had to restore to a time where it wasn't having any problems. So I restored it about a month back, and now I had to like like get some new thing or get some little bit of stuff like um, fraps and everything. But it's everything is good now, and I'm you making videos in Sunny Vegas 11, and I'll still make live comms, but maybe not on my computer. And I'm still thinking about doing Let's Plays on my computer, so I'm thinking about Minecraft. Because that's a really just a nice, chill game. Because I want to bring more variety to my channel. Because not everybody just wants to watch Call of Duty nowadays. It is such an advanced, like, community. People just want to watch everything nowadays. And I am a, I'm a huge football fan. I'm a football kid. Football's in my life. I grew up with football. And my favorite team is the Green Bay Packers. And I've been I've been watching football since I was seven or eight maybe, and I I started liking the Packers because my dad and mom liked them, and I really liked Brett Favre. Then I remember the first season Aaron Rodgers came in after Brett Favre uh, retired when we lost the NFC Championship in 07. Uh, if you guys go far like go a couple years back and you guys watch football, then I remember the first year Aaron Rodgers was on the Packers. We went six and ten, and I was like, oh, I want Brett Favre back. But now, 15 and one season. Have a bye week and we're going home. We're going to be in Lambeau for the divisional. And maybe if we win that game, go to the championship again. And I'm really loving A-Rod. And I'm really loving our team. And, you know, and I have noticed about the Green Bay Packers, there's a lot of fake fans nowadays. And sometimes it gets me mad because at school, everybody's like, oh, you're, you're a fake Packer fan. Oh, oh, you don't like the Packers. You... You're just like them because they won the Super Bowl. Are you kidding me? No, 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 no. Are you... I hate people that call me a bandwagon. I just want to bitch slap them and kick their ass. It pisses me off so much because they like maybe the Steelers. And there's a lot of Steelers fans that go to my school. I live in upper part of Vegas or the northern part or in Summerlin. There's a lot of Steelers fans. And a lot of them hate on me because I like the Packers. And it gets really annoying and they're like... Oh, you like the Packers only because they won the Super Bowl. Man, you know what? No, I do not. And look at this. I got picked off by some guy on the floor. I mean, this game is just really fun. I laugh at it a lot. And it's really funny. And I'm going to start bringing a lot of, like, football gameplay. Because I, I really, I play Madden 12 a lot. And I'm thinking about buying this game. This gameplay is only the tutorial, so it's only two quarters. And with... With football gameplay, you kind of got to cut it up by every good part because they can be up to like 30 minutes long. And this gameplay was actually about 15 to 20 minutes long, so I had to cut it down in maybe about 6 to 10 minutes. Because I don't really like doing like at least 10 minute commentaries because when I watch commentaries, I don't really want to sit there for 10 minutes and watch a video. I, I kind of want to like watch a 6 to 8 minute video. So when I do videos, I kind of want to make it to where my limit of watching videos. So peace out everybody, it's been the one only Fat Jesus, hope you guys enjoyed this gameplay, I'm going to bring, bring in some um, more Madden gameplay, and I'm watching the playoffs right now, the f game that is on right now is the Texans and the Bengals, and I'm going to make my picks real quick, 
And there's a black screen right now, but I'm going to make my picks for the playoffs right now. All right. Well, obviously, I'm a Packer fan, so I'm going to root for the Packers next week, but it's their bye week. So let's think about it. All right. I am only 14, so don't if I make the wrong decision, you know, don't bash me on it. You know, next year I'm gonna be, I'm gonna think I'm gonna be more mature and I'm gonna be making picks. So the first game, Texans and the Bengals. They both got rookie quarterbacks. They both got decent running backs, but the Texans running back, Arian Foster, he is way better. So I mean, he's more than a decent running back. So they're they're gonna have a slight advantage. And T.J. Yates is playing a really good game. And the Texans have an overall outstanding defense. They can really stomp on some people, but the Bengals beat them later on in the year, but they, wait, no, the Texans beat them later, uh, earlier on in the year by one point, they came back in the end, it was like, the, I think it was the first starting game for TJ Yates, and I'm going to have to pick the Texans, but the Bengals are a really good team, and the Texans, they are, their defense doesn't allow a lot of big plays, and the Bengals are built along big plays, so I'm but I'm t I'm taking the Texans, and I I like T J Yates more. I like Arian Foster, and I like their defense. The next game, Lions in the in the Saints. This game is going to be a high scoring game. Both of their offenses are in the top five most scoring points, like in the whole league. So it's going to be probably up in the 40s and everything like that. I'm going to have to pick. I want the Lions to win because I don't I don't want the Saints to go. But I'm going to have to pick the Saints because the Saints, maybe they can get it done more with Drew Brees. I'm sure Matthew Stafford might get picked off a couple times, but the Saints defense hasn't been getting a lot of takeaways. So that's going to be a big problem. And if Matthew Stafford doesn't pick, take it away, this game could not go down to the wire and maybe finish by a field goal or something like that. And the Saints D and the Lions D, they both give away lots of points. So it's going to be a high-scoring game. The Lions, I think they got more weapons, but they drop a lot of balls and they're gonna get a lot of penalties. And the Saints, they're more they don't they won't get a lot of penalties and they got some good weapons and they're tight end Graham. They're gonna eat them up. It's gonna be a really good game. So I'm picking the Saints. Falcons. And this is gonna be a really fair match game. They're both really good teams. And they both got really outstanding quarterbacks. And I think it's gonna go down who plays the best quarterback. They both got really good running backs. I forgot their names, but it's Bradshaw and Turner. Yes, I did not forget their names. They really, they both got really good running backs. And the the Giants D line is going to be really effective. And the bank and the Giants offensive line is really good. I mean, the Falcons offensive line is really good. So it's going to be a really equal match. I really don't know what my pick is going to be, but I think it might be the Falcons. Because they really had a good, they had a good week last week. They shut out the Buccaneers, and I think they're on fire. But the Giants are on fire too, so it's gonna be a really good match. So I'm, I'm gonna take mm, the Falcons. So yeah, I picked the Falcons, and there you go. All the all of the playoffs. I'm guessing, not the all the playoffs, but the divisional week. Broncos versus the Steelers. Oh God, it depends how T Tim Tebow plays. If the Broncos decide to play. As the three losing streak Broncos are going to lose. If they decide to play like the seven winning streak Broncos that had outstanding defense. Their running back was doing really good. And their kicker was making outstanding kicks, 59 yarders. And the Steelers, if they can't score, then maybe it might come down to a field goal. And they got a better field goal on the Broncos side. But if Tim Tebow gives the ball away, has a bunch of turnovers, pickoffs, he fumbles the ball. And their offense can't do anything, and the Broncos' defense can't do anything. They're really just going to get smashed in, this, smashed in this game. But the thing is, if they stop Ben Roethlisberger and then get him to move, his ankle's going to get irritated, and maybe he can't play the whole game. But I'm sure he will. He's a tough motherfucker. He will play the whole game. But you got to irritate his ankle. you got to sack him. you got to get in there. But it, the, same, I mean, the Steelers' offensive line is a really good offense line. So... I've been picking the Steelers because they have an overall better team and their defense is really good and I think they're going to smash Tim Tebow. But you never you never know. You know, the league is full of everything, great opportunities. It's going to be a really crazy game. So peace out, everybody. It's been the Fat Jesus. I picked my NFL picks and I <laughs> said I love the Packers and I'll be, make, I'll be making my picks next week too and I'll see if I was right or wrong with my picks. So peace out, everybody. It's been the Fat Jesus and I'm signing out. Peace.